Do you have a dog with recurring ear infections? This new simple OTC home recipe can really help. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Ear infections in our dogs are just so, so, so common. While I was in veterinary practice, that was one of the most common reasons I saw dogs. They're coming back in again and again and again, shaking their head, scratching at their ear, ear discharge, and people just keep filling up on these conventional veterinary ear medications. By far and away, the most common cause of our dogs that get ear infections, it is a secondary yeast infection. Most of these guys they have an underlying allergy. The allergy damages the skin, allows the yeast to flourish. The ears get red, inflamed, itchy, and that's why your dog is shaking his head, scratching in his ear. That's why he has that kind of blackish, foul smelling smell. Most of the dogs with the yeast ear infections, they're gonna have a black looking bit of debris come out of the ear, something like this. Many people think it's ear mites, but our dogs, they seldom get ear mites. If you're seeing black discharge coming out of your dog's ear, most likely you're dealing with yeast. This super simple recipe includes two ingredients. Number one, we have the OTC antifungal. This is Monistat. The actual name of the drug is Myconazole. Most of the veterinary ear medications, they include Clotrimazole. That brand is actually Caniston. But myconazole is also very effective and what I've found if some dogs don't respond to caniston the clotrimazole, they will respond to the monostat. It's very safe. I've used it in hundreds of dogs. And this is our antifungal. This is the thing that is going to kill the yeast. Second part of our recipe, not other than black tea. Black tea. Number one, it is antibacterial. It can help kill any of the bacteria that may be present. Number two, it has some antifungal properties. It can also help kill the yeast. Then number three, what I'm really using it for, it's got some good anti-inflammatory properties. Many of these dogs have these sort of red inflamed ears. The black tea can help decrease that inflammation. And the two of these together, it's a great, inexpensive, awesome combination. Number one, we have our monostat. I'm gonna put in a quarter of a teaspoon. That's about one mil or one cc of the monostat. Okay. We have about a mil of monostat, as you can see there. Then number two, our black tea. What I've done is I've poured myself 125 mil, so that's one half a cup of hot water. Put in my black tea bag. I've let that sit, steep and cool. It's been there for about 20 minutes. So we've got nice concentrated black tea, as you guys can see. See that nice looking darky orange color. I have myself here a five mil or five cc syringe. We're drawing up three mils or three cc's of the black tea. So two thirds of our syringe full. Screwing this in to mix it in with our monostat. So I'm doing this at about a three to one mixture. We're doing so one part of our monostat, that's one cc, three cc's or three mils of our black tea. It needs to be liquidy enough we can draw it up into syringe. Not too liquidy, it won't evenly spread in the ear, but not too thick. So then if it is too thick, we can't draw it up properly. So when you're mixing it properly, it's gonna look like this. Next, draw that amount up into your five cc syringe. Based on my calculation, three cc's and one cc will be, we should be left with about four mils or four cc's of our liquid concoction of monostat and black tea. If my math is right, oh, and I think it might be, hooray. Three plus one does equal four. Okay, there we've got it. Black tea and monostat. Mm, does not look good. So to treat your dog, you're gonna tilt your dog's head back or to the side, grab onto the base of the ear, the pinna, pull it open, Seat the syringe right at the base of the ear, and you're going to be putting in three to five drops into the base of your dog's ear. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to have a bunch left, right? So this is enough to easily do three to four days. You want to keep it in the fridge in between treatments. 
Then after you've done that, you're going to grab the base of your dog's ear, rub the base of the ear really well. You should hear this squishing noise. You're going to have it work its way down the ear canal. This is something you're going to be doing twice a day, treating a dog with a yeast ear infection, typically five days. If you've got a dog that has a recurring ear infection, perhaps you've tried the canistin, it hasn't helped, I encourage you to try this remedy. A couple key points, just ensure that you have really concentrated black tea, that's why I'm using just one half a cup, and you're gonna let that steep for at least 20 minutes. It's gonna be nice and concentrated and dark looking like this. And then ensure you add enough black tea to the monostat, so you're gonna get a liquid concoction like this. As I said, really loose looking runny cake icing and that's the consistency that you're looking for and that's very similar to many of the dog ear medications and the last big point as i said earlier many of the dogs with recurring ear infections they have an underlying allergy so ensure at the very least your dog is in a good quality essential fatty acid supplement such as our krill oil supplement of all the different things you're going to give, Ruby, these are the most important things to give long term to decrease inflammation, decrease the likelihood of your dog getting recurrent ear infections from an allergy. And if your dog has big allergic flare ups, he's really itching and scratching and shaking his head, consider trying something like our kerosidin supplement. Great natural anti inflammatory, acts like a natural antihistamine, can markedly decrease all that inflammation. We are seeing many dog parents find after shortly using the kerosidin. There's a marked decrease in itching. Good option to try, you've yet to try it. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of my new OTC home recipe for dog ear infections. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.